Welcome back to more modded Android Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. I'm Negative Zero, thank you for watching. I hope you're doing all right. I wanted to show you something. I came back to the base, to the hideout, and if we go into blaster rifles, look, Selvin's heavy blaster is right there. That's the, uh, the, the blaster of the assassin that we killed. It turns out it's upgradable, and I don't know if it's upgradable normally. It doesn't say it's upgradable in the description. Or if it's a mod, because if we look at the things, it looks pretty crazy. Look at this. It says extra range damage type piercing. I don't even know what that means. What does that mean, piercing? There's no... I mean, maybe it disregards armor? I don't know. I don't know what that means. Damage bonus plus two. Ion damage. A little stun action. I think we're going to upgrade this, and we're going to give it to Karth. Now, there's nothing here. Hmm. I want to do this. I don't know what that means, but these will obviously be Karth's blasters. Uh, and if you look at Karth's blaster, his damage is 3 to 13 with nothing in here, and that's not right. That's not... That might be... It, would it be Weapons of the Old Republic? I don't even know. I thought Wotor just changed the skin. It didn't change the stats. It's normally like... I think it's like 2 to 6 or 2 to 7 or something like that before you upgrade it. And it's its improvements haven't changed because I remember them kind of not being great and they're not great. This damage bonus will help. Oh, I kind of wanted one of the attack bonuses. Oh, well, this is fine. Uh, actually, you know what? We're just going to put it all into Selvins because that is a much better gun. And we'll just give it to Karth. I think we have it on Karth. Let's see. Yeah, it's right here. Look at how fancy that looks. That's definitely Wotor. The icon is definitely Wotor. But I I honestly don't know if it changes the stats or not. Look at this. It does 3 to 10 damage now. Stuns people sometimes. No bonuses to attack, though. So you gotta hit. Maybe that should be in his main hand. Well, yeah, maybe, maybe that should be in his main hand. More likely to hit that way. Yeah, that's fine. Anything else we can put on in? No. Nah. Alright, so we're back up top because we have to do a couple of things. We can go ahead and go to the Undercity now because we have to do that mission for the Vex. We have to get the Swoop Prototype Accelerator and sneak into the Hidden Back Base with Mission's help. We have to find Mission down there in the Undercity. But first, we need to finish the arena. If we can. I don't know if we're powerful enough. And then we need to help Matrix with his... He wants a, a something, something, a permacrete something to help him fake his own death. And I think we can get that permacrete something, something over here at this store. I'm not really sure. I feel like in past playthroughs I just killed him. Hello there. I haven't seen you in my shop before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kebla Yurt. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. You looking to buy some supplies? My shop's the largest one in all of Upper Terrace. Best selection on the planet. Whatever you need, I've got. Well, mostly. Mostly? What do you mean by that? The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons, and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still got a real nice selection, if you're interested. Let me see what you've got. Uh, just so you know, the prices on the items are our final. No bargaining here. This isn't a swap meet, okay? I only deal in top-notch stuff. Okay, let's see if she's got what I'm looking for. Hmm. Doesn't look like it. Oh, Permacrete Detonator! That's exactly what we want. I'll buy one of those. Anything else that's any good? Doesn't look like it. A Chani Ritual... Oh, this might be worth it. 3 to 13 damage melee weapon? It's do. It looks like it's two-handed. Uh, I think we'll just keep what we've got. I think we're fine. Alright, so we got that. We'll go speak to Matrix. I think he's down in the lower city. I get confused about where all the apartments are. Or who's in what apartment. Anyways, if you're interested in any of the mods that I've got running, you see something you like but you don't know where it is, there are three main places where I get my mods. The first one is the KOTOR Nexus. That's www.nexusmods.com slash KOTOR. And then there is deadlystream.com. Uh, that's a great place uh, to find the newest and latest mods because people are still modding KOTOR. 
and then a few I got, basically the texture packs, and that's about it, of the different planets uh, I got on Mod DB. I don't think I got the Terrace one. I think I got this on Deadly Stream, but like the Endar Spire and all the other planets, pretty much from uh, from Mod DB. And you just go to moddb.com and you search for Star Wars Knights of the Republic. You'll see a bunch of stuff. Yes, yes. Okay, I'm ready for a duel. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. Over in this corner, a woman with steel on her bones and ice water in her veins. She's cold and quick as death itself. You know her. You love her. Ice. And in the other corner, a rising star Why am I not even that facing the camera? Into the big leagues. I give you the mysterious stranger. All right. Oh, we're playing. Okay. What we're going to do, I think we're going to try... Oh, a little for the lightsaber? Yeah, we're going to do that. And then we're going to do a little wound. And then we'll run over there. Oh, that did no damage at all. And I don't think that works. She saved. Okay, and we're almost dead. No, fighter! Okay, okay, hold on. We're getting hurt. We're getting hurt bad. I think we can go with a regular med pack. Alright, we're good. We're fine. I need to hit her. Oh, I need to start using, um... Stimulants. Come on! Oh, no, no! Okay, maybe do another one. We miss a lot. Oh, that's an advanced one. I think. We got it. Barely? Holy cow! We are not tough! I thought maybe just because we were a Jedi, we'd just own everybody. Ice is knocked out cold. Looks like we have a rising star in the mysterious stranger, folks. But how high can this star soar? You'll just have to watch and see. Hmm. Well... 100 experience points. We definitely need to level up before we go further. Uh, no. No. Talk. Thank you. Alright, he always says the same things. We got 300 credits this time. We need to be... We got all these guys. We've got Marl and then Twitch... And these guys are just spectators. So we have two more of these guys before we can fight Bendak. Now, Bendak, is he out here still? Or did he leave? Yeah, he's hanging out right here. He looks amazing, but he is definitely going to kill us if we fight him now. We need to kill him, though, because there's a bounty on him. An official government bounty on Bendak Starkiller. So it's like, you know, law and order. We're not just murdering him. But we need to level up, and to do that, we need to go to the Undercity. Okay, I thought we were going to be able to do a few more, but that fight was way too close. I think we're going to hang back a little bit, head to the Undercity, and do all the things down there, and we'll definitely level up. In fact, how close are we to leveling up? 11,000, 15,000. Not even close. So we'll head back down. We've got the papers now. Remember, at the end of the last video, we talked to Bregic and got the... Oh, that's, uh, that's not the right way. And we got the papers, because we needed the, the official documentation papers to be able to go to the Undercity. The Sith armor we had wasn't good enough. So we traded those, and we got the documentation so we can continue on to the Undercity, so we can work our back our way back up to the Black Vulker base, break into their base, steal the swoop accelerator back from the Black Vulker Vulkers, put it in our swoop bike, win the big swoop bike race, and win Bastila, who is the prize. 
Oh, and by the way, uh, there's a mod. This guy is Gordon. There's a mod, thanks to Daniel Johnson, who... There's a mod to kill that guy. You can find a mod. If you go under the... I had to search. I didn't know if it was a real thing. But if you go to uh, Nexus Mods and... Hold on. I, I've got my papers. Well, why didn't you say so? Hmm. Everything seems to be in order. Okay, I guess you can go down to the lower city. Just be careful down there. Those swoop gangs will take a shot at anybody. Even our Sith patrols have come under fire. Okay, so... I searched it. If you just search Gorton, it's G-O-R-T-O-N, you'll find it. It's just... The mod is just called Kill Gorton. And I think you can go into a dialogue with him and just murder him. Just kill his racist... Self. Totally a possibility. Now, the the Black Vulcan base is right there, but I think they have turrets and a bunch of guys in there. I think we can't break in that way. I don't. I've never actually tried. I'm pretty sure you can't go in that way. We have to go down into the Undercity, and that's where we'll meet, you know, our next members of our party, and we'll go from there. All right. So down this long hallway. You know, I wonder where... We've got this one, this one, and I think... Yeah, these are the illegal ones. Like, Holden's kind of a jerk. We met him in one of the cantinas, and uh, he wasn't that great. So I'm pretty sure Dia didn't do anything wrong, so I think we just won't do that particular quest. Or the Matrix one. I think getting two or three bounties on, done is civilian. enough. the proper security papers you better just turn around and go back the way you came I've got my papers right here let me see uh, yeah these look to be in order okay you can go down if you want can't say I envy you though the undercity is crawling with mutants rackles they call them if you see anything moving down there shoot first and ask questions later I'll do that there, Upworlder! Anyone using this elevator has to pay the toll. Yeah, this is our elevator. If you use it, you gotta give us something. I don't believe this planet. Even the beggars are trying to shake us down. Five credits! That's what it costs to use our elevator. Five credits! Who are you? What are you doing here in the Undercity? We are the outcasts. Banished and reviled by those who dwell above. Here in the filth and darkness, we claw out a wretched existence, scavenging and begging just to survive long enough to see another wretched day. This is our village. We live here in the Undercity. You have to pay us five credits for using our elevator. Okay, so we can give him 20 credits, you can give him 5 credits, you can just not pay anything. Um, I'm going to give him 5. I'm not going to give him 20 because, you know what, if someone's, if someone's begging, if you give them too much money, you know, you might make them a target. I don't want to do that. I don't want to, for their own good, I'm only giving them 5 credits. <laughs> credits, my brother! We have credits. Now we can buy food and medicine. Hush, or the others will hear us. They'll want our credits. We See have what I mean? Go on, you two. Get out of here. I'm sorry about that. Those two beggars give everyone in the village a bad name. We aren't all like that, you know. Most of us are good people. I'm sure you are, miss. It's just too bad your little welcoming committee is here to give people a bad first impression. Uh, my name's Nziara. Who are you? My name is Shalina. You're from the Upworld, aren't you? I've... I've never seen it. I was born here in the Undercity. Is it as nice as they say up there? <laughs> it's a beautiful place. I've never been to the surface, but sometimes I think I can see it in my dreams. The sun, the sky, 
the stars, it all sounds so, so, so wonderful. Gendar, the leader of our village, tells me I should spend more time trying to improve things down here and less time dreaming about something I can never have. Maybe he's right. You probably think I'm a fool, having dreams of a place I've never even seen. But when I was little, Rukil used to tell me stories of what it was like up there. Who's Rukil? Rukil is the oldest man in the village. The kids call him Rukil Wrinkleskin, but he's a kind man. He used to tell me the greatest stories when I was a little girl. I still like to listen to his tales about the promised land, even though I know they're just legends, but it helps to make the Undercity seem less... less dark somehow. What's the, uh, the promised land? What's that? It's... it's just a story to make little children smile. Rukil believes in it, though. Sometimes I can almost believe it myself, but then I look around and see the ugly truth. I guess we have to make the best of what we have, though. If you really want to learn more about the Promised Land, you should speak to Rukil. And where can I find him? He's wandering around somewhere on the south side of the village. He doesn't move too far. He's hard on his bones. He's over 100 years old. The children laugh at him, and people think he's crazy because of his stories about the Promised Land, but he's really just a kind old man. Okay, let me ask you some You'll questions. You'll probably get more information from Gendar, the village leader, or maybe Rukil, but I'll tell you whatever I can. Do you know anything about the escape pods that crashed into the other city? I don't know anything about that, but maybe Gendar could help you. Sorry, is there anything else you need? Tell me about this village. Well, I was born here for starters. My parents were outcasts, banished to the Undercity for some crime or other. They never really liked to talk about it. Everyone here is an outcast, or the descendants of one. It's tough down here, but we survive. I guess it's easier for me since I've never known anything different. Some of the people have given up all hope. We've become bitter and depressed, but most of us are good people, despite what our ancestors may have done. Gendar could probably tell you more, or maybe Rukil. You could talk to them if you want. I feel like she doesn't really want to talk to us anymore. Have any other upworlders come through here recently? There were quite a few people from the surface marching through the village, but none of them bothered to talk to me. Gendar might know more about them. Okay, I get the point. I'll be going now. Oh, okay. Well, if you ever need anything, or if you just feel like talking, come back and see me. I hardly ever get a chance to speak to someone from the upworld. Okay. And we lost our five credits. So, we, here we are. It's very dark. In fact, I think I'm going to something, do something I meant to do before I started. I'm going to turn up the brightness a little bit. And then turn down the sound effects. The... The fighting sounds are so much louder than the conversation sounds in this game. Hello, outcast healer. Wait, Upwelder. You can't go through this gate. There is too much danger and suffering beyond. For your own sake, turn back. Danger and suffering? What are you talking about? The villagers infected with the Rukgore disease are quarantined beyond this gate. It's only a matter of time until they transform into horrible creatures that would destroy us all. So you just lock them away in a cage? For the sake of the village, we have to keep the infected ones locked away. And when they finally do transform into rock ghouls, we'll let them destroy each other. There must be something someone can do. Nothing can be done for the infected villagers. Even the serum to counteract the rock ghoul disease wouldn't be any use now. Nobody would be foolish enough to risk going into the pens to give them the cure. The infected ones could transform into rock ghouls and attack them at any moment. So you'll just leave them there? You're a coward. I can't help the infected ones. They have to die so that the rest of the village can live. I accept this. If you think that makes me a coward, so be it. Well, I mean, that's fair enough. Uh, let me if ask you some questions. If you have questions, you should speak to Gendar. Uh, Alright, I'll, I'll but... talk to Gendar. Oh! Oh, you can heal us. Okay. Goodbye. Farewell. Alright. Oh, we got a... a mission? Infected outcasts. Several of the outcasts have been infected... Right, okay. Um... 
Hmm. Okay. I think... I don't remember. There's Gendar right there. And there's Rukul right there. Okay. Yeah. Alright, let's talk to Gendar. Greetings, Upworlder. We rarely see your kind here in the Undercity. I find it strange that so many of you have come down from the surface recently. No offense, but I can see why people normally avoid this place. Curse! Why have you come into this dark and sunless place? Is there something you need of me or my village? I will help you however I can. Uh, we already know who they are. You said something about the other Upworlders who came back here recently? Our village has seen many visitors from the surface recently. Armored troops, swoop gang members, mercenaries. They come to search our sunless world. They're even searching the sewers. I'm looking for a Twi'lek named Mission Val. Yes, I have seen this Twi'lek many times, though I've never spoken to her. She and her Wookiee companion often pass through our village on their way to explore the sewers. And how can I get to the sewers? There are two entrances into the sewers from the Undercity. One to the northeast of our village, the other to the southeast. But the sewers are dangerous, Upworlder. If you dare to travel those dark tunnels, you would be wise to go heavily armed, unless you wish to become a meal for the rock ghouls and the other foul creatures. Oh, I'm heavily armed. Ask your questions, Upworlder. I will answer to the best of my knowledge, though I know little beyond the borders of the Undercity. Okay, just tell me about the Rack Ghouls that live down here. The Rack Ghouls are monsters, hideous mutations who feast on the flesh of our villagers. Their diseased jaws can infect those they attack, transforming the victim into one of those abominations. We know of no cure for the disease, and for the good of the village, we must banish any who become infected lest they transform and turn on us. Okay. As you wish, Upworlder. Should you have need of anything else, come speak to me. I represent the entire village, and I will do my best to help you however I can. All right. Now let's talk to Rukul real quick, and then we'll move on. You, you come from the world above. Is this the time of destiny, then? Is this a portent of the salvation of my people? Or merely another false sign to mislead us from the path? Are you the herald of prophecy, the beacon to guide us through the darkness? Or are you merely another harbinger of shattered dreams and unfulfilled promises? Be careful. This one might be crazy enough to be dangerous. Speak to me, Upworlder. Tell me what fate you unleash upon us. Salvation or damnation? Speak, Upworlder. I beg you. What are you talking about, old man? A question. You are uncertain, bewildered, perplexed. Understandable, I suppose. Even after a hundred years of life, I myself still become confused at times. Perhaps I can make things more clear. Some things, at least. My name is Rukil, the oldest outcast here in the village. Rukil Wrinklekin, the children call me sometimes. I'm Enziara. What do you want from me, Rukul? Once, I was honored for my wisdom. But over time, the villagers fell away from the true path. Eventually, there was only a single apprentice who followed me. And now she is gone, too. What happened to your apprentice? My apprentice is... lost. I sent her out into the Undercity to find... Well, I cannot tell you. Not yet. Sadly, my apprentice has not returned. Please, Upworlder, will you help an old man? Will you seek out my apprentice in the Undercity? Her name is Malia. I must know of her fate, whatever it may be. I must know what she found. I will help you with this, Rugal. Finding her may be difficult. Malia could be anywhere in the Undercity. But if you will find her, I will know you to be our true savior. Only then can I reveal my secret knowledge to you. I'll be back if I find anything. I wish you luck, Upworlder. Come speak to me again once you have discovered the fate of my apprentice. 
Okay, so there we go. We got a little journal entry, and we're just going to look around a little bit. Outcast child. And... Hmm. I feel like I, I have a mod. I'm looking for something specific, if you're wondering what I'm doing. I may have gone... Oh. Hey, you ain't from the village. You're from the upworld, ain't you? Yes. You've got credits, I bet. Watch yourself. There's something slimy about this guy. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. My name's Saigir. I run a little salvage shop here. You want to buy something from my store? I got some good deals. How do you manage a store here in the Undercity? If a villager comes across any useful salvage in the Undercity, they bring it to me. Every so often, members from the lower city gangs come down to trade for the salvage. They'll exchange food and medicine for engine parts, old blasters and the like. Sometimes they even give me credits if I have some really good stuff. All right, let me see your inventory. It ain't the best stuff. Mostly salvage and such, but the prices are right. Okay, I don't think he has anything we really want. Maybe this? No, we have... An, oh, we could use a scope. Yeah, we could use these. Oh, and some Pazak cards. I'll take the minus two. Okay, we're good. Cool. Thanks, buddy. Uh, I'm looking for... <laughs> uh, something that... Oh, what is that kid doing over there by themselves? For a backpack on the ground. And it's got something I want in it. I'll just tell you that. But it, I don't see... I thought it was around this. I don't see it. Black Volker? What are you doing? Here, buddy. I have all the credits I'll ever... Wait. Oh, he wants us to do something. Ooh, okay. Alright. Go on. Why do you need to go in the sewers? Huh. How much are you offering? If I were to obtain some, where would I bring them? I'll, I'll consider it. Okay, that's interesting. That's obviously from... Okay, there, there's two things going on down here. I've got Kotor 1 Restoration. Hurry, Hendar! Oh my gosh. Hurry! I can hear it coming! He'll never make it. He's doomed. <sighs> I told him he was a fool to leave the village. He will make it. Run, Hendar, run! Open the gate! Quickly! There isn't much time! Uh, I... I can't. The Rakuls are too close. The mutants will kill him if you don't open the gate! And if I open the gate, they'll kill us all! No! You can't do this! It isn't fair! Please, make him open the gate! Hindar will die if he doesn't! I can't open the gate. Not while the Rat Ghouls are so near. Open the gate! I'll kill the Rat Ghouls! You'd risk your life for a stranger? <laughs> You're brave, Upworlder. I'll open the gate for you, but you gotta be quick. In a few seconds, I must close and lock it again. Okay. We've got to fight... Oh, he's right here! Oh, he's not even... Okay. That guy's gonna die. I hope... I hope... Well, I hope he doesn't die, but... Alright, we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna go attack... Karth. Just shoot him. Yep. Do it. Okay, are there more? I feel like there's more. No? Alright, cool. And we can go back in. And... Maybe talk to him? 
I can't thank you enough for saving me, Upworlder. If I had anything but these rags on my back, it would be yours. But we have nothing. I still have you, Hendar. That's all I need. Let's go back to the village. Okay, so with this guy, there is... I don't know if he's KOTOR or one restoration, but I have another mod that I installed that's specifically the Gamorrean stronghold down here. That was in the original game and later cut. Either it wasn't finished or they just didn't want to put it in. I don't know. Um, I'm going to look around for the... Whoa. What is that? That's not what I'm looking for, but that's interesting. Anyway, uh, I think we're going to wrap things up here. And we'll talk more about the Gamorrean Stronghold. Obviously, we're going to go check it out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And we'll continue on next time. Take care.